Ladies and gentlemen, Scott Sermon is Chewies and Chewettes. Welcome back to CEO Show and Chris and uh, more Od Odyssey. So, Chris left or right, I guess. There's a door on each side. Oh, what's down? So, which one do you want to do? What's down? I have, uh, well, nothing. down is down, death. Down is oh, death. let's check. Oh, fuck, I keep fucking it. I'm just too good. Yep. <laughs> oh, I fell quite a while. <laughs> and, yeah, and you don't feel it every now and then. Like, when you hit the bottom, it's like. On the rumble pad. <laughs> and you're like, that was pathetic. <laughs> right or left? Right. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> Just be like contemplating. Like... Three minutes go by. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what movie or show it was that I watched where they did it for like forever. Maybe it was Family Guy. It was Family Guy. Family Guy. So it says you will return here. So, left, Chris. Thanks. Thanks for the wrong well, direction. Now we know. <laughs> At least we know. The more you know. <laughs> this place does not make any sense in terms of the. Oh, yeah. Apparently, you just go into that house and the house and goes on forever. Just... Oh, here we go. So now you're going to choose. Do you want to do Paramonia or Scrabania first? Oh, there's like two separate worlds? Yes. Oh. We get a hand brand from each one. Wait, so. So the Paramites are that one that just looks like a hand, but it has like a mouth on it. Are you like, rescuing anybody in these places? Uh, well, I mean, there are rescuees, but you have to find the secret areas. Oh. Do par Paramonia. Alright, Paramonia. That's usually the one I go with. Alright. You just do, fucking do whatever you want. Douche. You gotta pull this lever like an asshole. Paramonia. Like an asshole. Like a asshole. <laughs> I saw Paramonia. I saw Paramonia. Mm. Look at how pretty it is. So there are a couple of scripts here. Uh, they're mainly here to collect the Paramites for food. They're like aliens. Yeah, so they look like they look like hands on the mouth and then like a couple things. So boom, he scares them back into. It's like an alien baby thing has another bigger body right. on it. Right. Right. Have you ever noticed that alien thing just looks like these two hands? And then the two thumbs are the tongue thing that goes... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Do that. Alien, like the first one, is like... one Probably one of the best horror movies. Oh, yeah. It's like and an actually aliens. good horror... That's more of an action movie, isn't it? I haven't actually seen it. Well, the ending is pretty action-y because they, she kills a lot of the aliens. <laughs> um, is that the one where they introduce the alien queen? Uh, yeah, it is. Step lightly. Um, did you no. did you finish isolation? No, fuck no, I did not. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't. I think. What did I get? I know I got past the med bay area, obviously, because that's like the first place you encounter him, like really encounter him. Yeah. Because he's teased for like three hours before that. Jesus, um, yeah, he is. <clears throat> uh, I think in in that med. You just kill me. I don't care, dude. I got other things to do here. <laughs> <laughs> I think in that med bay. It's the first place you It is. He drops down from the ceiling. It's super cool. And you're like hiding underneath that hospital bed. Yeah. So it says step lightly, and you're actually supposed to step lightly because there's a fucking sleeping guy right here. And the way to kill him. Oh, you know, I could have just enchanted him, but instead I'll do this because I think it's funnier. He's <laughs> got that little maniacal laugh. That evil laugh. And then I'd be. Yeah. So then, you pull this, rings a bell, and then for the first time ever, my best friend in the fucking game comes out. Hey, what's up? What? He's kinda cute. He is. And he'd be like... Oh fuck. <laughs> okay, my bad. Okay, I needed to throw a rock that direction. That was super, <laughs> that was super, super good. You're so good at video games, Caleb. I wish I could be just like you. Oh yeah, you didn't quick save. I did not quick save because I'm a fucking idiot. Okay. You know we did. So you know what we should do. Sorry, bro. Oosh. Just take the bullet to the back. <laughs> Doesn't matter now. All right. So what we should do is we should get to the Paramonian Temple before the end of this episode. So it might make it slightly longer. But we'll get through uh, the writing of. Oh, fuck, what's his name? You, Yule? Uh, no, what's his name? Does he have to have a name? He, he has a name. I mean, he, he does. Come here. Uh, Come here, bro. I feel like Eustace is a good Eustace? name. Eustace? That is a good name. That's a perfect name. Quick save. Um, 
But he has, he does, Elam, Elam oh. is his name. But Eustace, I like Eustace. Elam, well, maybe, because it said the Elam, right? Yeah, he is an so, Elam, so now he can be Eustace, the, the Elam. Elam. Yeah. Oh. Is that the temple? Oh. Yeah, way in the background there. Yeah. That's where we gotta get. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. quick save, fuck. <laughs> it quick saves with the momentum. Yeah. Don't get mad, get Elam. Get like used to not slowing down. Uh, it's like um, 50, 50 meters maybe. Huh. Uh, so you'd be like, hello, up, down, down, up, fart, up, nope, sorry, up, down, down, up, fart. Oh come on, dude. <laughs> He gets pissed at me because I keep saying hello. <laughs> up, down, down, up, fart. Enough with your English. Is it always four tones? No. The first three are three. I think after that it gets to five once or twice. Oh, okay. But for the most part, yeah, it's three. Oh, fuck. Elam. Useless. Wait. Guess what, bitch? Have a you're rock to the little, face! You're a little close. Yeah. No. <laughs> Follow me. Follow me. <laughs> He's super cute. He is. He's like the one... He doesn't really make any sense. Like in terms oh, of fuck. his physical proportions or anything. He likes, um... He likes honey, and he won't leave the honey alone. And... I'll, Oh, see, and a lot of times that'll happen. Fuck, I'm sorry, Elam. I'm sorry. Eustace, no! <laughs> yeah, Eustace. I fuck it. I keep saying his fucking name is... Oh, fuck you, dude. Okay. He's not... <laughs> not him. He's, he's <laughs> not, uh... His identity is not completely comprised of his species, Caleb. <laughs> that is... That is true. Oh. <laughs> it is comprised of all those innards that just hit the screen. <laughs> okay. Quick load. Hey. Eustace. Stay. Such oh. a species. Species. Save. <laughs> doop. Doop. You have to get doop. it when it's when. Doop. 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 There we go. Green. I have to say it out loud or else it makes no fucking sense to me. <laughs> oh, sorry guys. Oh, Eat a dick. <laughs> <laughs> to the temple, Abe now traveled. What dark mysteries would be unraveled? Oh, game and your language. It just starts dropping the F-bomb. <laughs> oh, game and your language. Fuck you! You fucking piece of shit! You missed. It doesn't right, matter. You missed, you missed the mine. I know, well, I only had bottle caps, so I didn't have any rocks oh. left. Oh, but you know what I could do, I bet? No, I can't. I wish you could, in this game, you like reach up and grab them, throw them off the edge. Yeah, like Every any Splinter Cell, Cell game. <laughs> Assassin's Creed. Or, uh. Oh, <laughs> Fuck, dude, I can't do this. Peace, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> no, Did you we're, see? we're gonna break 10 minutes on this episode by far, I mean. <laughs> Did you see the, um. So you played The Witcher 2, right? Yeah. Um. In the prologue, they had a, a thing making fun of Assassin's Creed. Did you ever see that? The Witcher did? Yeah, The Witcher 2. Uh huh. Yeah, so like in the prequel area when you're infiltrating a fortress or whatever, um, before you get arrested and interrogated or whatever. Oh, hey, I can come all the way up here. Okay, yeah. Um, I know what you're talking about. There's a. Uh, kind of towards the end of that section is a, a guy. He's, a, he's an assassin, like right. basically. But there's like a, a hay cart thing, and he's like lying dead next to it, and the cart's broken. <laughs> <laughs> and like, if you go up and examine him, as Gar like Garrett will say something like, "What a fucking idiot!" or something. <laughs> Tried like. to jump into that <laughs> shit. Yeah. What kind of jackass. <laughs> would think that would break his fall. <laughs> I love I love all the Easter eggs in this game. Come on, already. Eunice? Eustace? Eustace. Eustace. 
Eunice, I believe, is a woman's name. Which it might be a woman, I guess. Maybe? Whoa, guy. Okay. <laughs> Could easily be a woman, alright? I love it like my own woman. <laughs> well, I mean, you have to mount it. Watch so. the way I ride it. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. Shit, no! <laughs> Quick load. That guy's like, yeah, you better run. <laughs> He's like, oh, shit. I mean, bitch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, what? <laughs> You could eat one, fat one, like mine. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> Sleep with Charles Connor, the natives appeased. The duo toured onwards and far from the bees. You know what would help this woefully underpopulated bees? <laughs> Fuck, I messed that up. I always, whenever, they, whenever games have poetry or anything like that, I always wonder, like, how many people they had to assign... To just write to, to poems. Just write, to just write it, like, uh, in uh, Spyro. Oh, yeah, yeah. In Year of the Dragon, there's a... <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> there's a, uh... Because, you know, like, <clears throat> there's, like, hubs. Yeah. When you go out into the realms or whatever. Yeah, so there's, like, portals. Yeah. Uh, one of them, they only speak in haikus. Oh, yeah, yeah. the Japanese racist one. <laughs> no, I don't think it was that. I think it was in a swamp. Oh, was it really? I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I could... I have to go. I haven't actually beat it since I got it for, on the PS3 a while ago. But I, that went over my head as a kid. Like a lot of the humor yeah. in that game actually um, could. It's not like super like adult, like scandalous, but it's like. It's just more mature in the sense that you just have to know more about anything. About the world and yeah. shit, yeah. Um, but like I thought that was super funny. Um, Alright, so I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to go this way. And like I haven't, uh, oh fuck, sorry, dude. Didn't mean to. I haven't played um, the dick. Resistance or Uncharted, <laughs> right? So I, um, I couldn't say for sure about that, but like, um, like there's always like the the, the battle sort of between Naughty Dog and Insomniac for PlayStation games, right? Um, Although Insomniac's an in independent developer for the, the, you know, they made games from Sony for the longest time. Um, and I think Naughty Dog is a Sony developer. Okay. Sony -owned. I, I, yeah, I think so. Since they only ever make games for Or else they just Sony. are really loyal. <laughs> yeah, super fucking loyal. Um, but, like, everybody says, like, I've, I've heard a lot of people say, like, Naughty Dog is the better of the two. But, like, I like Spyro way more than Crash on the PS1. Um, cause, it, well, I mean, like, Crash is very linear. Yeah, for sure. Like, very, very linear. Um, I do like some of their, like, off-shoot games that I think they made, like Crash Bash and Secret Crash Team Racing. Yeah. <clears throat> but, like, as far as, like, the main games, I, I loved Spyro. Yeah. Like, Winworth. And then, like, I've played Jack and Daxter and a little bit of Jack 2. I haven't played Ratchet and Clank, but I've seen it played, and it looks to me better. Uh, Ratchet and Clank rocks, that's true. Um, uh, and then I've heard much better things about Uncharted than Resistance, so... Uh, um, oh. it, seems, it seems like what uh, Insomniac's really good at, though, um, is, like, weapon... Weapon diversity? Yeah, they're... Because... <clears throat> I guess there are some really neat ones in Ratchet and Clank. Oh, there were a lot of really cool guns in Ratchet and Clank, um, yeah, for sure. And then, like, I guess Resistance actually had really cool weapons. Yep. Um, and uh, Sunset Overdrive, even though it's it's a an Xbox, Xbox One game, which if Toddy ever gets an Xbox One, I will definitely be playing. Oh yeah, that and was, that's that. like the one that I want. That I know it's like that, and I guess I do actually. And I I didn't really think I'd ever say this, but I do want to play Halo again. Yeah. Um, the Master Chief collection looks great, and Halo 5 looks cool from what we know about it, I guess. Which I'm sure we'll find out a lot more at E3 in the next week or two. Password. What's the password? Uh, well, fuck. Tell me what the password is, and then I'll tell you the password. <laughs> we need the password. Here's the password. <laughs> tell me oh, the password. it's on the one fucking thing I didn't do. <laughs> Because I was like, I don't need to push that little hand thing. There's no reason. But anyway, I guess in Sunset Overdrive. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Up, up, down, down. Okay, up, up, down, down. Cool. Continue. Um, <laughs> Sunset Overdrive has like crazy weapons. Like, I guess there's like a 
um, teddy bear, like a teddy bear gun, and the teddy bears like blow up or yeah. something like that. And then there's like another one where you shoot records. Yeah. yeah. And I hope it doesn't take Toddy too long to save up to get that, because that'd be pretty cool. Except I've heard. Like, it's up, up, down, down, right? Yeah, it's up, up, down, down. Far. You just did three ups. Yeah, but he's still. You, two ups, two downs. But it says password, please, and I go up, up, and he's all mad at me already. Okay, what if it's down? Up, up, down, down. Oh, he was just mad because okay, I missed the first. I missed the first one. There was a down before oh, okay. the okay. All right. Sorry, dick. <laughs> um, I've heard of quite a few instances, like uh, where Insomniac is. No, uh, like as far as Xbox One goes, uh, the Xbox One just like not working basically. And like places will like if you bring it in, be like it's not working, and show them. They'll, yeah. Like give you another one. Or whatever. So, but, but apparently it's pretty. Uh, Comment. I don't think it was because of not working, just because of not liking. But um, the first when I worked at Costco for a long, for not a long, for a long time, for a little while, um, and the Xbox One came out uh, the next day, a huge like two and a half pallets of Xbox Ones got returned. Really? Because people just didn't like them. <laughs> I think it was the kids who didn't like them that got Xbox Ones bought for them. But in general, basically, there was like. A huge stack of Xbox Ones yeah. back in the. It's, it has to go to the RTS pile, which is the return to sender pile. Right. Um, let's listen. Oh, never mind. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it's the proving ground, the ancient Paramonian Paramites. That temple right behind me, there. <laughs> Face. <laughs> ground. <laughs> Legs snap. Anyway, Xbox Ones. Um, yeah, so a huge pile of them got returned. And they all had to be returned to sender because when somebody returns something to Costco, it doesn't matter if it's defective or if they just don't like it. We have to just send it, send back, it back to Microsoft so that they can either repackage it or destroy it. Whatever the hell. Right. That's um, hilarious. So there was just a huge pile that I wanted to take. So, um, so farewell, Eunice. Eust Eustace. Wait, did you say Eunice or Eustace? Eustace. So Eustace is the male. Unless it's a girl and then Eunice is. Eustace is the male from, uh... Cur 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 yeah, Curtis the Cowardly Dog. And Eunice, I think, is just a female. An oldie kind of female. Oh, wow. Yeah, I wanted to say that that's the same female from... Oh, there we go. I knew I could take her. Oh, are you bitches. from Curtis the Cowardly Dog? Uh, that's... Her name's like an M something? Oh, you're right. It's, um... Muriel. Muriel. Yeah, Good one. That's what it is. Muriel. That show was creepy. It was so it was, good. It was good though, yeah. It was and he was always like, no, no. Not Eustace. <laughs> Eustace didn't give a shit. Yeah, Eustace was a dick. <laughs> Courage was always like, no, real. Fuck, how long is this episode been going? Like, like 25 minutes? Not. It's like 18. Okay, good, because we're at the uh, Paramonian Temple now. So, we're here. Everything's cool. And, um. He's gonna fall down in a second. Oh no, he sees some slicks up in uh, slicks up not spider webs. But he's, he's afraid because he thinks they're alive. But he's like, oh. Well, oh, cool. I they're would, just in I spider would, webs. I would still be scared. Yeah, right? <laughs> Something that can imprison things like that. They're just in spider webs. That's alright. I'll just keep on walking. <clears throat> and two seconds down the road, he's like, oh, fuck, giant spiders. <laughs> Saved. Alright, we will continue this on the next episode. Or. We'll see you on another time. There's a, there's a twist. There's a twist on the outro. <laughs> we'll add a little flavor. <laughs> and, um, goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Alright. Good? We're good. Peace.